Hi there, I'm Zach from the Bailey Hay team. Our team has been servicing the Barrie and surrounding areas for 38 years, and we post videos about the key details and trends within the market and how it will affect you. This is our monthly market update. First, I wanted to give you a summary of what we will cover in today's video. The market has officially changed. We are here today to discuss it and how it affects you. As always, stay tuned to the end of the video for a couple of tips to help you on, how, on your real estate journey. Let's get into it. In case you haven't been fully watching the real estate market this year, there have been two very different markets. January through March was an extreme seller's market where the inventory was so low, every buyer was coming through the same house, creating these massive multiple offer situations. However, in the last month, the market has completely shifted to a buyer's market with a lot more to choose from. Houses staying on the market past a week and going for asking or under much more often. We will go into detail with examples over a few of our main areas of interest, Aurelia, Barrie, and Innisfil. A common theme you'll see across these locations is that in February, at the peak of the market, homes were selling immediately for well over asking for a very high value. We will then see in May that these same homes are taking over two weeks to sell, under asking in a lot of cases with no multiple offers. First, let's look at Aurelia. What we're going to do is take the same style home in each sector and compare what that home was selling for in late February and early March compared to the first two weeks of May. The first example is a two story that was listed in early March, 1,965 square feet, which was listed for 869,000 and sold for 955,000 in one week. The second example is a two story that was listed in late May, 1,955 square feet, which was listed for 975,000 and sold for 900,000. It took over two weeks to sell. Looking at Barry, there are two examples. First of which sold at the peak of the market in late February, it's a two-story with approximately 1,865 square feet. This one was listed at 999,900 and sold at 1.15 in under a week. Compare that to a sale that happened within the first two weeks of May. It was also a two-story with a square footage of approximately 1,900. This home was listed at the exact same number, 999,900, and sold for 950,000 in over 30 days on the market. Taking a look at Innisfil next, the first example we have is a two-story home approximately 2,300 square feet, which was listed in late February and sold on its offer date. Listed at 899 and sold at 1.361 million. Compare that with a sale that in the first two weeks of May, which was a two story, approximately 2,700 square feet. It was listed in April and on the market for 30 days with a price change. Its final list price was 1.249 and it sold for 1.2. It is a slightly bigger model than the previous example, but I think it shows the theme really well. Now, what does all this information mean to you? If you're a homeowner, the process to sell your home is a lot more relaxed, not nearly as stressful, and there are people out there who bought with longer closings, who had hoped to sell later, and are now struggling to get the money they required, which is something you can avoid in this new market. What you can do now is put in offers with conditions, which allows you to find the home you want first, and then have a conditional offer, giving you the requisite time you need to sell your home. If you are interested in putting your home on the market and making a move, please feel free to reach out at any time and we'll walk you through every step as well as creating a strategy for you that works for your circumstances. Now for our tips for you today, the first one we have is for people changing jobs or acquiring new debt during the lead up to making a move, it can make a troubling experience in getting approved for a mortgage as the banks are looking for consistency and proof that you will be able to continually cover and pay the mortgage. The second tip we have for you is on the purchasing side of the equation. It is important to set a true priority list of what you want from your new home. Unless you have a massive budget, you're unlikely to hit every box. If you know which features and aspects are most important, it can be a lot easier to act quickly on the home that best suits you. If you're looking at making a move this year, let's have a chat and we can analyze the market segment you're looking at so you can have the greatest chance of achieving your outcome. 
connect with us whenever you feel comfortable and we would be happy to chat with you. Thank you for listening to our video today. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out, us, reach out to us at any time. Looking forward to helping you and the people you care about every step of the way. Follow us to stay updated and have a great day.